Hey guys, welcome back to the channel where today I'm going to teach you guys how to do a buzz test, a contribution test, and also scan your OBS power stroke for diagnostic codes. Let's check it out. Hey guys, so if you're watching this video, you probably already have a 7.3 power stroke, or are very familiar with them. Um, and you want to get into diagnosing them with a computer. So in order to do this, there's a couple things you need. You need, in my case, a laptop um, with the Forescan program. So the Forescan program is a software that you can put on a laptop, a tablet, or a smartphone, and that'll allow you to diagnose uh, Ford vehicles. I like the laptop because, first of all, um, the program is free for laptops where you have to pay for a tablet or a smartphone but also I just feel like it gives you the best uh, diagnostic capabilities you can save files edit them things like that um, and then you also need this cable so I bought this cable from Amazon it was $30 um, I will put a link to the description and that just allows you to plug in your OBD2 port and then into your computer to read it um, the third thing you're gonna need that's probably not as well known or common is you're going to need an OBD2 compliant flash on your power stroke diesel. Don't worry, I know that sounds complicated. Most of you guys already out there already have them. In my case, I have a 94 and a half. See, it doesn't even have the power stroke badge on it. Um, and in 94 and a half, these trucks were wired for OBD2, but they weren't flashed with an OBD2 compliant program. I believe the breakpoint is somewhere in 95, later half of 95. Um, so in my case, all I did was I sent my uh, engine computer out to a tuner and they flashed on a OBD2 compliant, or basically just a new tune. The computer's the same, it's all in the tune. Um, so they flashed on a new tune to the computer and that allowed me to diagnose my truck um, with an OBT, OBD2 compliant program. Um, it's not really expensive. It was, I think, $150 and I got a 60 horsepower tune out of the, or out of the deal. You know, it was the same price to get just a new base tune or a 60 horse. A lot of you guys out there with tuners um, or different injectors, you know, sometimes you send your computer out and get flashed anyways. What I did was I, I bought this stuff and I tried it and it didn't work, so I ended up sending out to get flashed. So let's, uh, let's get into the diagnostic part and we'll start off with a buzz test and kind of tell you why that's important and how to do it. So one of the things that they did to allow you to diagnose injector issues with the 7.3 power stroke was uh, they did a buzz test. So what a buzz test is, is it just fires the injectors individually, um, one through eight, and that allows you just to listen with your ear to see if you have like electrical issues where the undercover valve harness is bad and you don't have an injector firing at all, um, things like that. Or if you have an injector issue where maybe the injector sounds like it's sticking or sounds like it's worn. Um, different from the other injectors. And that allows you to diagnose things like uh, poor running engines, smoke, a lot of smoke on cold starts, um, things like that. So when you have an OBS, you're kind of automatically at a disadvantage because there's not a ton of OBD2 um, or like freeware diagnostic tools for that truck. Whereas if you have a Super Duty, you know, there's a ton more diagnostic support out there and things like that. But um, over the last couple of years, there's been a lot of like third party and um, computer software developed that is free for us to use. So what I like to use and what I've had luck with is Forescan. Um, it's a free download online. So you can check out Forescan. Like I said, you can download the program offline. It's free. Um, and now this uh, program will allow you to uh, scan Ford, Mazda, Mercury, Lincoln vehicles. Um, and so far, I've used this on my 94.5 Power Stroke and also all the way up to like 2013 EcoBoost trucks, things like that. Um, it does a ton of stuff. It's really powerful. It lets you check diagnostic trouble codes. Um, you can graph like different parameters, you know, if you want to graph like boost or throttle percentage, things like that. Um, you can do tests, like I said, so you can do a contribution test and a buzz test. And then, you know, a couple other small things. To use this, you need a, just an OBD2 compatible uh, cable that's compatible with Forescan. 
I'm not sure exactly how I find I found this. I think I was just reading online at forums, but I'll uh, post the link to this cable in the description of the video. Um, and that's pretty much it. You just need this cable, a USB OBD2 compatible cable, and you plug it into your computer and into your OBD2 port, which is right under there. So why don't I uh, get this set up, I'll get it hooked up to the truck, and then I can show you guys how I can scan for codes and do a bus test and things like that. Okay, so we've got our USB cable plugged into our computer. You can see we've got our adapter plugged into our OBD2 port, which is right here on the on the 94s, I think probably all the OBS trucks. Um, and then the next thing we gotta do is we gotta turn our key on. So that'll turn the computer on and allow us to communicate to it. And then for those of you using this for the first time, you're gonna have to come into settings, go to connection, and then for this, um, you know, I have a USB adapter. So that actually uses like a, a virtual COM port. Basically all you need to know is you have to set it to COM. You know, like if you had uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth connectors, because they do make this app for like smartphones um, and tablets and things like that, you'd have to go through that. But I have the PC, so I'll select COM, and then the rest of it, it'll just figure all this stuff out. So now if you go back to your main page here, the car with the eye, and you hit connect, it's gonna go through a couple things. And since I have already loaded this, it's gonna remember my profile of my truck. So I can hit yes. So then it's gonna go through and it'll actually connect to the vehicle. So it says found, found, okay. So there we are, we're connected to the vehicle. So first thing you know, a lot of people wanna do is they wanna see diagnostic codes. So you just hit this DTC over here. So it says no codes, no codes. There's a button down here if you want to reset anything or if you want to read the codes. So I'll hit read up here. Comes back as no codes, okay. So now, like I said before, we're going to do a uh, buzz test. So this will allow us to diagnose our injectors if they're bad or good or whatever. So it's just called key on engine off injector self injector electrical self test. So you select that one and then you come down here and you press play. So when I press play, it's going to run through this test and you should be able to hear the injectors buzzing. So make sure everything's good. And now there you can hear the injectors buzzing. So it'll go through this test. Uh, the test doesn't actually give you a pass or fail back. It's strictly for you to listen to with your ears. So as this injection test is running, what you want to listen for is that first, all of your injectors fire. If they don't, you have an electrical issue or a bad injector. And second, that there's a nice crisp click to the injector. Also, it's good to run this test when it's cold. Um, that'll really tell you what it's like under start. So that is it for the buzz test. Like I said, it's a really handy test uh, to allow you to diagnose or, or troubleshoot your injector problems. Um, but there's a couple other cool things that you can do with this uh, Forescan program that I'll show you guys quick. Um, so if you start your truck up, if you look in the test, there is a another test that you can do key on engine running cylinder contribution self test so what this test is designed to do is designed to shut one cylinder off uh, and it'll rotate through the eight cylinder shutting one cylinder off and it'll watch um, like the cam position sensor and I think the crank position sensor and it'll tell if each of the eight cylinders are contributing evenly and if one's out of whack, then you could also have like an injector issue when your truck is warmed up or you could have a, you know, like a low compression cylinder, things like that. To me, this test is controversial and doesn't really tell you a ton because if I run it eight times, it's probably gonna give me eight different results. Um, that's just the way it is. Um, but this test is the same thing. The only difference for this truck or this test is that you have to have your truck warmed up. I just want to show you guys quick what you can kind of see on the screen if you log the values. You know, we've got everything from uh, injector 
pressure regulator percentage um, to your injection control pressure, things like that. So it really is a powerful tool. Um, you know, really allows you to see what's going on with the truck and diagnose uh, all kinds of things. To run that test, it's the same spot. It's just uh, instead of your injector electrical self test, you're going to run your cylinder cylinder contribution self test. And there's a couple things it tells you. Uh, it's not going to let me right now because the truck's off. But it tells you that your truck has to be warmed up to like 75 degrees or 78 degrees engine oil temperature, um, things like that. But that's another test. You know, if you're having uh, injector issues, maybe that'll help you uh, bring something to the surface that you can't find with a buzz test. Um, so that about wraps it up for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I just wanted to give you guys some resources to diagnose your 7.3 uh, power stroke for the OBS. Um, like I said, I know it's a little bit more computerized than a lot of the engines from the time frame, but really, you know, they do a good job with the diagnostic codes, and if you guys can hook a computer up to it, I mean, if you can use a computer, you can hook a computer up to it, and once you hook your computer up to it, they really start to talk to you, and it helps you diagnose all kinds of other fuel is or, uh, engine issues. So thanks for watching. If you guys have uh, any questions or comments about this video, um, let me know. You know, I'm sure there will be questions about connecting to this. Leave them in the comments and I can try and walk you through it. Um, there's also a ton of good resources out there in the forums and on the Forescan forum um, to help you, through work most, help you work through most of the issues. Um, and if there's any other videos you guys want to see about the truck, any questions you have, uh, let me know. Be sure to subscribe and like, um, and we'll talk to you next time. Thanks.